Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival Alpha 11.5 and we are starting the video down on the ice planet that we've been exploring and this is going to be the last visit to this planet and I know some of you are going to say well you haven't really explored this planet completely there's lots of POIs that still need to be uh, taken down I mean we've got uh, what's it up here abandoned mine over here we've got another abandoned factory i mean there's lots of potential loot on this planet to be honest i'd love to spend a lot of time on this planet and taking down all those prs gathering all the loot so that i can build the ships that i want to do but i've been thinking about this in the sense of the wider let's play and that is the fact that i am now recording this in late january I'm pretty sure that we probably haven't got that long before Alpha 12 comes out. I mean, I've got no insight on when Alpha 12 is due, even what's going to be in it, so don't ask me. But one of the dilemmas of playing Imperium at the moment with these regular big updates is that you get into a Let's Play, and when the update comes out, there's a very real risk that there's a mechanic in there that will break the save game, especially when you're playing a scenario like Project Eden. What I want to do in this Let's Play now is shift the focus more onto going out, finding new planets, POIs that I've never seen before so I can get in and experience them. And just to show you here, if I come up onto here, you can see that, consider how big the galaxy is in Project Eden, you can see I've barely scraped the, the surface here and I'm, I'm, I'm over 30 parts in and I would like to make a bit more progress before Alpha 12 comes out. So. What I'm going to be doing now going forward is we're going to be trying to get in as many planets. Obviously, I've still got to stock and resupply. And we're, we're only going to go for POIs that I've never seen before and maybe a bit unusual. I mean, obviously, we may have to stop and replenish supplies as we go along because there are a number of things I do want to do. I mean, I do want to upgrade the Wayfarer. And as Mike Me said, I do need a hover tank. Now, one of the problems I've found with hover tanks, and I'm really open to suggestions now, is that a lot of the hover tanks in the workshop have not been upgraded for CPU. And I've been kind of going through and looking at them. And when I get them into creative mode, their efficiency is zero. I mean, I'd be quite happy to live with a hover tank that's maybe kind of 50% efficiency because it's not like they're going to have to travel vast distances and I can load them up with lots of fuel and go. The other option is, is I'm looking at is maybe taking some of the hover tanks from the workshop and then upgrading them for the CPU. But then that gives me a problem. I've got to go and find the various um, items to put into the factory to be able to manufacture them. So it's been a little bit of a dilemma at the moment. And so if any of you know about a really good heavyweight hover tank that's been up fully upgraded for CPU, feel free to chuck it in the comments. Now, the other reason I'm wandering around here is is I've actually found some gold bearing ore rock down here which is going to be one of the useful components in making the upgrades i think there's another one over here i was flying around looking i'm sure there was another one there's another one over there so it's kind of just over that direction i want to pick up these couple of bit, bits of gold ore while i'm here i mean i don't going to spend a long time just collecting ore it's just rock <laughs> or more stone than I know what to do with and the reason we're starting here is that if I mentioned in the previous video that I actually dropped a water generator down here in order to keep a supply of water going for the oxygen and get into here so I'm gonna go in. oops no I don't want that and I'm just gonna put that into there and just hook this up I always get a problem when I pull water out of here and then you can see what I've done is I've quite literally left it so that it would run out of power. I'm just going to get up into here. And it's going to, oops, up into the ship. Of course, what we're going to need to do is just turn this off. So we've got a little bit of gold ore. I don't think I can refine gold in this uh, constructor. I mean, we got one bit of silicon, so I'll just convert the silicon. I'm not sure where I got that from. And I turn the thrusters on. I've just noticed that we are coming up to day's end. So if I come into here, turn the thrusters off, 
And I'm pretty sure I brought the tent with me. Uh, where is it? Well, I hope I brought the tent with me. Yeah, there it is. And we'll just put... I don't think that, that fit in there. Yes, it does fit in there. What I'm going to do is just wait for the night to come and I'm going to sleep through it means so it means that we'll be doing this in daylight so here we are we've gone through the night let's just jump back up onto the ship we should have a nice clear day to do what we want to do it's easier to do it this way I'm just going to drop the tent down I think I need something to eat as well I mean I did bring a little bit of food with me I mean, oxygen wise maybe, maybe I need to be a bit embarrassing to run out of oxygen Oops. clear that yeah it shows how often I, I use the oxygen station on this ship doesn't it because we can get back into the cockpit a quick way and thrusters on What I want to do now is try and see if we can take down this ice storm defence and the hail storm defence. Because I'm, I'm just curious to see how powerful these actually are. It could be not one of my better ideas, but if you don't try, you don't find out. I mean, loot-wise, there may not be much in there. I'm just interested to see how powerful they are and how well they're defended. So we're in Xerox territory looks very much like there's a drone there so we can get rid of that tag I can see what I'm doing I definitely can see a drone we're kind of going hard and heavy this looks like it's only got a couple of turrets on it so this could be relatively straightforward I can't really see the crosshairs. There's the drone. I think maybe we're trying to go ahead. Okay, they're coming at us. Six that off. Got you. Right, we're down to 45%, so we need to try and get this done as quickly as possible. That didn't look that difficult, to be honest. Just put this back on. That was a level 7. Whoops. Somebody's still firing at me. Okay. So we're going to need to keep an eye out for patrols. I had three pretty hefty turrets on, and if you didn't have a shield generator, you'd probably be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, I think there's a patrol on the ground there. Somebody's firing at me. I mean, it could be sentry guns. Yeah, it looks very much like we got sentry guns. two of them, one on each side, firing high, it's only one of the drones, I'm just going to have to loot the drone, yep, these big minigun drones are great for power and ammunition, I'm just going to jump in, question is where would the entrance be? Let's just make sure we've got rid of the sentry guns. Another one there. And the one there. Oh, this looks a better candidate for getting in. I'm just going to land in front of the yeah, it looks like there's an entrance on each side. Just gonna jump out. Um, I can't 
remember if I bought any. I've only got one C4. Oh, this might be slightly embarrassing. Okay, it's an armored door. I don't think I've got any more C4. With respect to, I think most. Oh, I've got a little bit of C4. I don't. Okay, let's just put this on here. Got one core. Although to be honest. Around here. Right, so let's have a quick look inside. Oh, we got a what we call it in here. Let's have a quick fly through. It's about a loop. We got my favourite, these turret robots. There's the core just up there. Make sure we're fully loaded. It's a little bit embarrassing to Hopefully I'll do a little bit better against the turret robots now. Wait! I thought you were dead. Okay, I think there's... Oh no, you're the one behind. Okay. I think it's one of the problems with these turret robots is that you can get some of a sense of kind of depth with them. Is that it? Okay. I was hoping for a little bit more than this. Well, we might as well take the ammunition while we're at it. Some mini gun rounds. I mean, I wasn't expecting a lot of loot in here. But, I mean, is it going to be even worth caught? Oh, look at that there. Behind there, is that. I don't think it's even really, to be honest, worth coring. So, I'm gonna... Oops, don't want that. Uh, it shouldn't be in there. It should be in... Wrong one. Turn a controller. And that can go in the ammo box. I'm not gonna run out of ammunition, if nothing else. <laughs> Gonna salvage uh, Merc container controller, big pile of uh, iron ingots. Not sure, I really need it, and we're just gonna loot out everything. When I mean, the fuel could probably be useful, but nah, I think we're just so I don't want to draw this out too much. We'll just take anything that looks useful. The oxygen tanks there as well. Uh, ammo boxes. And another fuel tank that I missed. Uh, oh! I've got these, never mind. Let's just do it the quick way. effectively that there. Oh, this one of that. But we've got some power cells in here, so stick these out. And there's another one over here. Nothing in that one. Thank you, game. Uh, I'll just take 
Right now. I would say that this is a relatively easy uh, POI to take down. I mean, I think once you get past the, the three turrets, it's not exactly going to be a major challenge. We'll just take that as well. We'll take that off. Let's have a quick look through. I'm not seeing anything that's potentially a. I mean, the walls aren't thick enough really to hide anything of great value. And they're only like one layer through concrete. I mean, I suppose a little bit of cement would be useful. And. That up. Yep, I think all in all that's about it. I mean, there's nothing else up here, is it? A quick look up in the sky. So that was a nice storm defense. Yeah. And what we're going to do now is come up for a, a hailstorm defense. What I want to do is while we're moving towards the hailstorm, we'll just come down and see if I can see any more ice columns. When I was actually preparing for the start of this video, I actually started over here and I was flying across looking for golems and I actually got bounced by a drone, but luckily it was only a, a small drone. Yeah, so there's a hazard when you're looking for golems. If you're in Xerox territory or nearby, you can fly into danger. So here we are, we're in Xerox territory. Let's just get into the map and remove that. Stay on missiles for the moment. Again, we've got the same problem as before. This looks like this has actually got four sets of missiles on it. Although, I don't know, it could be two. I think we'll see if we can knock out that drone first from above. This is this is the lighter version of the ice storm. Oops, I've got, I've got sentry guns again. Where are you? There you are. You're on the front there. Just pull these teeth. Last thing I want is them shooting me while I'm looting this drone. bit more ammunition, a couple of flux coils, that's going to be useful. Um, now which side is the door on? I think what I'm going to do this time is, I know the door may not be locked but I think we're just going to, use, I want to preserve the C4, we're just going to knock on the door with the chip. Here. Looks like this doesn't even have any uh, defensive robots in it. We've got one loot box here as well. Okay. Um, Certainly take that. Um, what have we got here? 155 HMSL, HMSL missiles. Um, got a little bit more ammunition. <laughs> and again, I don't think it's going to be worth coring this. I can't see anything else in here, so. I just going to check. Right, what we'll do is we'll go and stand just outside. And then we'll speed loop this with. Uh, you're connected, thank you. Uh, a little bit more power cells. Gratefully received. Also, we've got actually three sets there for the electronics. Um, a little bit more power. No radar, I've just got a. Sentry gun, we'll take out the sentry gun. 
to go knock on the door the height a quick way. And we'll just take back. And we'll just take the oxygen tanks for the mechanical parts and steel plates. And this is where you probably put a comment in saying these are full of oxygen. And I think that is about it for reasonable loot here. I don't really want concrete. Uh, I'm just going to jump back into the ship. So that's the hailstorm defence. Relatively straightforward. No real problem. Now we'll just come into here. Let's go into there. This can go into the ammo box. No shortage of ammunition. <laughs> oh, actually, that can come out and go into the ammo box as well. I'm not getting any food or anything. Some 30 millimeter rounds that could be useful for my capital vessel. More importantly, we got 13 fusion cells, which is going to make quite a big difference. Right, what we're going to do now is where is this? This industrial fuel depot got an industrial fuel depot that way. I think if I fly this way, oh no, that's going to be right on the edge. I think maybe we're, I mean, that's going into darkness. A missile base is quite a familiar base. I think we'll go for the industrial fuel depot. Now this is something that I would probably want to call. So we're just going to fly this way. So here we are, we've just entered Xerax territory. Let's just get rid of that marker. Uh, I know where it is now, I can see it. And it looks like there's a big drone over it as well. This could be interesting. I've got no idea what the defences are. It looks very much like there's turrets on the, on the corners. Yeah, there's a turret on every corner. Now one of the problems with these fuel depots is that if you hit the wrong place, it explodes. Right, we're going to have to do a swoop attack, I think, on this. Using missiles, see if we can get the defences down. I come in low, and I'm going to go first person, try and improve the accuracy. Right, our range is 100. Yeah, there's a second drone there as well. Let's let the shields build up. Yeah, we're going to do a swoop attack. I'm not going to ignore the drones. Get in. Get in close. And pull away quickly. See if we can draw the drones towards us. Ah, there's a drone there. Oh, you sneaky get. Right, we're going to get him. Press F6, get rid of that. So we've got one drone down. Um, get back to here. Now it's a second drone coming at us. Gain heights. Um, I've got that one down. Rather conserve the missiles for the base if I can do it. Right, where's the drones? Are they outside the range of those? Ah, oh, so tempting. I'd love to grab these. Is if I jump out of here, oh, yeah, we're too close. It's annoying. Okay. Right, what we're going to do is come this way and we'll see if we can do another swoop on attack here. Okay, it's going to come in really fast. Right, there's a, something on the roof. There's also sentry guns as well. See if 
I know I shouldn't be doing this and I'm being greedy. But yeah. yeah. There's one on the roof as well. Just gonna we can get rid of it. trying to be a little bit selective simply because if you hit the building the whole lot could blow up right I, th I think I might have the ability now to get in and get these get these drones but a little bit worried about patrols yeah look at that <sighs> you're a bunch of tow rags You are denying me loot, idiots. I'm up here. Right, anyone else here? I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> oh no, I can't go for it. Can't you just do the honourable thing and die? was worth the risk and if I think if we can creep forward all patrols over there ah, I can see me spending quite a lot of time cutting the grass here There's a mech patrol there. I just want. I just want this. I say. I know it's stupid, but right. speed. Pick that up. See that fuel. It's just so useful. like there's actually great okay let's get rid of the turret right, that looks a bit like on the roof there is a turret there it's a bit A bit worried that if I hit that building, it will blow up. Right, we've got that there. Right, there's a mech patrol there. Okay, we'll just get rid of these down. Where are you? Okay, we'll just get rid of these. Troop ship coming in. Uh. Certainly want you gone. And uh, oops, something's firing at me. Why's my shield gone? off? Is that because I've got too close to these? Xerox patrols. And they turn my shields off. Never do that. I mean, if any, any of you know, feel free to chuck it in the comments and confirm that. 
let's just get rid of these. around here. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> He's still alive. Anyone else here? No. We've no. got a rocket launcher. Much out of him. Oh, yeah. Take out that mech. Ooh. Right, let's just. Right, there's another patrol over there. Let's just back. I need something to eat. And I also need to clear out all the junk from here. Oops, no. I can. Pistol rounds, don't need that. Keep the sniper. Uh, fuel, that, this can go in the ammo controller. Oops, that can go into there. And we'll just put another one of these. Can't see as a. Oh, great. That's the overshoot, see? I've destroyed something. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull back and sleep through the night so we can actually see what we're doing. So here we are, we're back in daylight and we can we'll just have a look around now and see who's around, what patrols are around and what we can see. There's some patrols there. Get a view. Damage we did around the back here. Some arachnids there. Another patrol, a patrol there. I can hear you, arachnids. I can't see any other patrols around. Let's see if we can draw. Right. If it's one thing, it's something else. We may have to get rid of those arachnids as well. Oops. I think they just destroyed my drone. Okay, there's another patrol coming in. Definitely need a hover tank. Whole raft of mech noise and out here. Let's clear this area up. And get rid of you. They're out the trash. And we'll get rid of you. Just got some arachnids hanging around. Certainly around you. And certainly want you as your laser. Yep, got some laser ammunition. And 
you. You. Ourselves. And seeing you gave me so much grief. I can take you as well. I get him. Right, can I long last get into this base and see what's going on in his base? Let's just have a little bit. I mean, I mean, there's actually ramps at the top here. It's firing at me. It's only going to get rid of you. Sentry gun down. It's only going to get rid of you. But I don't want to hit anything in the building. Okay. Oh, look at them all dropping down. Okay. Else want to drop down? There's one over there. Must be spawners up at the. Oh, you're in the wrong place. If I hit you, you're gonna. Okay, there's another one up here. There must be invisible spawners here. There's another one down there. Let's get in. And see what else is. Apologies for being so cautious, but this is it's a fairly tough base. Some nice power cells in the corner there. He's something just in that corner there. That's a light, that's okay. And there they are, it's the spawner boys again. If I fire along, I don't want to hit those fuel tanks just behind. One's dropped down. It's only trash him. Anyone else here? I mean, we could get in and kind of just level off a bit and loot these and just see if I can fly around a bit. two on the these on the top here and you and let's have a little bit of a fly through and see what's here ah the spawner there I'm not seeing anyone else here okay. right we're just gonna go for it now put the ship tight there. I'm just going to jump out. Who's firing at me? Grass. Wow. Don't really want to spray bullets everywhere. There's a couple up here. Another one in there. Just 
firing at me from the back. Ow. The back, we're taking damage. Let's put this stuff into. This is a an interesting DOI. Let's put it mildly. Those. Put him. What the heck is firing at me? Oh, it's a tank down there. Okay. Is that all the opposition? Yeah, let's just get in. Gonna keep a bit of height because there's a ripper dog. There we are. I know you're there. Don't need to make horrible noises. Okay. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to pick you up. Um, so I'm going to grab you. Oops, you've gone. Shame. Okay, you. Anyone else left up in the infrastructure? Okay, for f I think it's again. I'm just gonna leave the thrusters on. Shotgun. This person. Yeah, the ripper dogs around. Reload. Let's get this in the fridge. We no, that can go in there as well. Let's eat that. I think what we will do is just pop, actually just take a couple of these with us. Like we need to do. Okay. Like some kind of barrier there. Firing at me. Hey, cover. Is a there. Ah, cover. Xerox in here. Drink. Right, there was some one came from this direction, so there's probably a spawn pad in this direction. Ah. Oops. Someone just shot me. Can't see anyone. And it's just. I'm gonna get rid of some of this. some of them over here. There's one. Ah, ha, ha. I know you're there. We go round here. Oh, I can't see him. Great. We might be able to get behind him.
couple more of these and of these and feel that we need to clear this area first, we just can't get through there. Let's use this area here. Sniper. Like you might be able to one-shot him, let's just go epic. the ammunition if I can't one shot them. Thought there was two up there. Everywhere. I thought I'd cleared this side. Pop some drinks. on the oxygen as well. Got this still around. Oh this is a maze. Anyone up there? I think there's an entrance around here. It's got to be an entrance. I just saw someone. I'm sure I saw somebody. Spawn pads. Okay, cover. Oh, Golden Bennett. Get back this way. Starting to feel, feel like I, I should have just blow the place up and get it over and done with. Right, I don't get there. You come down here. around here. Right, it looks like we're going down underground. So let's just have a quick see what's down here. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. We have to blast our way through here. That's going to be fun because we got three sets. Of, we don't need to drill just at the moment. knock up some of these again and 
the salami. Okay, it sounds like there's a whole load behind here as well. I think we're we'll give them if it's Right, there's a drone in here. It's attacking my ship. Or oh, it's trying to kill me. Right, here we go. I think we're gonna use the plasma rifle. Oops. Here from this door. This control room on this side. Wow. Uh. Yeah. Question is, do we go this way? up there or this way. do so just look in the special containers I'm not going to loot them down because I'm aware that this video is getting overly long this is taking a lot what I really want to do is just try and finish the POI a bit so bathroom and a shower nothing else up here range of my ship. Yep. Oops, I put that in the fridge, put that in the fridge. Pop the salami, put that in. We'll keep the energy bars just in case. Container controller. Got loads of ammunition. Yeah. Let's just stand here. This spawn, let's see what's up the end here. There's a spawn around the corner there and a uh, turret. Got 
fridge over here. Let's we'll have a quick look in the lockers. Some heavy armor, a multi tool. Uh, don't need a stamina tablet. And there's a deployment drone coming in again. Right, I'm just going to go back up and deal with the drone. Think about this entrance that's not 100%. Okay, let's just get behind the ship here. Reload. That's it. Right, let's get back to where we were. Right, we were just checking in here. Uh, oh well, I'll take that. Probably spoiled, but never mind. Are you out there, Terran? <laughs> oh, thank you. Very sociable of you. Now these are liable to rush me, so. Right, we've got control of the base. What the? I've got a feeling my base is just, this base is just blown up completely. Yeah, we've lost all the fuel. Right, moral of the story is do not destroy the core in this base. Because you literally destroy the whole base and lose everything. That is absolutely annoying. Right, I think just to finish the video off, I'm going to, I'm going to put a core out just to see what's left. I don't think there's going to be much left, to be honest. Hard lesson learned, learned here. Right, armor doors. We've got some cargo boxes. Thank you. I'm going to get the consolation prize. Um. All that work and I was hoping to get loads of fuel from here. Um, okay. All we got is virtually nothing. Was it? I'll take that. And the fridge I've already done. Uh, oxygen, well we can get some oxygen out. We haven't actually lost the... And um, what can we do fuel wise? Wow. Well, I'm not going to turn the fuel down. 21. Maybe the fuel tanks aren't. We've got 757 fuel packs. Maybe it's not such a big disaster as I thought it was going to be. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.